Hi, Tom Zdenko here for today's tech tip on comparing different sonar systems for target separation, target ID, and overall power. You know, I've been getting inundated with phone calls Everyone from lately. Everyone says, how come Vexilar has 400 watts of power and Markham has five and Hummingbird has 8,000 watts of power with all this extra power than a, than a Vexilar? You know, how does this system work? Well, here I've devised a simple test. Now, granted, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a fisherman like you guys out there conducting a test in the back of a little trailer here. But what I've done is I've drilled a hole and I've mounted all three transducers the same depth below me, it's suspended, and I've taken a BB size split shot. Now let me show you what I've done here. I've taken these split shot, and I've taken a ruler, and I've moved them exactly two and a half inches apart. So let's see if I can get two and a half inches here. I want to be two and a half inches apart because that is a point that a lot of people are totally unaware of. Okay, two and a half inches is right about there. Okay, now at two and a half inches, these two little split shot are going to be seen in 45 feet of water. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these babies down. Now, I have, to, I have to put a disclaimer on this thing. Now, these are units right out of the box. We didn't modify them or change them in any way. We simply took a Markham LX-5, a Hummingbird, Ice-55, and, of course, the Vexilar. This is a, a 22, but I've done it with all of them, so it really doesn't make a difference which one you use. In this case, I'll turn on the Vexilar. Now, the Vexilar, first, at first glance, is very easy to operate. You simply turn it to the 50-foot range because we're in 50, you know, 45 feet of water. And if I want to go to the zoom range, all I simply do is hit AZ range, and I'm set. I'm ready to start fishing. And now I'm, I'm watching my jig go down on this side. Why don't you come on in here? You can see what I'm talking about here. Here's my little jig going down. And now, see, this is a, a classic issue of what we're talking about when we talk about resolution. The entire 45-foot depth of the water column is compressed into this side of the display. And you really, all you can see is the jig going down, or at least the two split shots going down. You have no idea that there's actually two split shots here. But once you get the split shots within the six-foot range of the, of the bottom, I'm just going to stop it here. And I want to suspend it dead. I don't want to move it. If you jiggle it, it kind of, you know, falsifies as a signal. But what you do is once you've got it down there, all you have to do is then turn down the gain and you can clearly see that there's two individual split shots there. And, you know, at two and a half inches, two individual split shots. You can easily see them, one, two. It's amazing how the resolution is so sharp. For all you tech heads out there who love to test things for yourself, I encourage you to conduct your own split shot test to find out firsthand what other brands of sonar can tell you compared to a Vexilar. To do the split shot test accurately, you need to be fair and uniform in how you conduct a test with any sonar, so I suggest you follow these directions as closely as possible. First off, you want to use units of equal age. The last thing you want to do is to compare a 10-year-old system to one that just came out of the box. And they don't have to be new systems, just keeping them the same approximate age is another way of keeping things fair. Now let's get started. First thing you need to do is to get into 45 feet of water or more. You want to suspend all transducers evenly just below the bottom of the ice. Then you want to use two split shot size sinkers. Now you want to have a ruler handy or some type of measuring device to make sure you get the split shot set correctly. And of course you want to use a light line. Two pound test line is recommended. Do not move the split shot once they are down and stop them about five feet above the bottom. Be sure to use the zoom feature of any unit tested to maximize display resolution. Now adjust the gain and transducer cone angles to get you the best signal display. To document the differences between the units, use a camera with the shutter speed set at 1 30th of a second. By following this checklist, you'll have a great time seeing the true differences between Vexilar and any other flasher sonar systems on the market today. Now I'm going to do one more test to really blow you away, and this involves taking the split shot test to the extreme. Now again, you can conduct this test if you've got some friends that have a Hummingbird or a Markham unit. You can do this test yourself. As you can see, this is unedited. This is as it happens. There's nothing magical about what I've done. And I've done this test several times to outdoor writer groups and organizations all around the country. But I wanted to put it on tape so that everyone could see once and for all that power doesn't mean superior sonar. Power just means a waste of energy so you don't get as much battery use. And you as an angler, uh, don't get take full advantage of what the three color sonar systems can do. Now, here we go. I've gone to one inch, one inch. 
Now I want to see in 40 foot of water if the Vexilar can show target separation. If I get it off my wristwatch here, can show target separation of one inch. And I don't think I can because my watch just ate my line here. Oh, there she goes. Now let's go back down. It's totally fascinating to me when I do this test to people because they always hear these stories about how more power means better sonar and, and all this stuff. And these guys actually try to defend this inferior technology compared to Vexilar. Now Vexilar is not one to you know play these types of games. And I, and I know we want to, again, put a disclaimer on this test to show that this test is as it happens. We didn't doctor or modify this in any way, shape or form. But we wanted to show you this to show to all of our Vexilar fans out there why we have millions of people who love the Vexilar sonar system is because it does indeed supply you with more information, better information to make you a better angler. And that's why millions of people would never go fishing without a Vexilar. So well, let's do the ultimate test. We're down to one inch. Let's see if we can see target separation at one inch. Right now, We've actually got an orange, two orange, and two greens. And we back it down even more. Let's see if I can get them the, even the greens to separate, which is really challenging. Ha, how do you like that? I hope the camera can pick that up because it's very obvious here that there's two very distinct lines at one inch for target separation. I'll turn up the gain. In the orange setting, I've got target separation here as well. Two different... Remember, these are two split shot, one inch apart in 40 feet of water. I'm Tom Zanenko for Ice Fishing Today, and be sure to check out all these facts, and we have a lot more fun stuff that we've done to show how superior Vexilar sonar technology is on Vexilar.com.